Welcome back everyone to my Chelsea career on FIFA 16. It is Christmas Eve and we are taking on Manchester United at Old Trafford. Three massive points on the line as you can see. We're pretty much at the halfway stage of this season now. If we can beat United and Arsenal lose, we can go six points top at Christmas. Wayne Rooney, captain for Man actually he's not captain for Manchester United today, but his performance and also Aiden Hazard's performance here today will certainly be crucial towards the result. Here is Darmian on the ball, trying to get things rolling for Manchester United. Here's Daily Blind. Oh, that's a good move there from Darmian, but he's not going to get past Nathan Ackett as he takes him to the ground. Uh, shall I get? I'll give this one to. Come on, there we go, Nathan Ake who's been really impressive as of late comes in to replace a tired Tremolinas that's a bit of Quetta over on the right some quick short passing going on here at the moment Christian Atsu on the ball can we cause United some damage here is Fabregas we can indeed as it is 1-0 that's a massive goal in this game Chelsea with the lead at Old Trafford 15 minutes gone and as it stands, it all depends on Arsenal's score, we are six points top of the Premier League. Expecting a bit of blowback from Manchester United. Here is Fellaini, tallest in the area at the moment. He went for goal. Why would he go for goal from that? Fellaini feeds it out to Short. Nice little one-two between those two. Fellaini, what on earth is he going to do? He, yeah. Let's take this into the penalty area with Hazard. Let's go for goal and blind with a crucial block for Manchester United. As that could have very well been on target. Could have been a goal. But no, we've got a corner. Side wide for Christian Atsu. Oh, Matic hits the crossbar. Oh, my word. What an incredible opportunity for Christian Atsu. Doesn't even let the ball hit the ground as he volleys it. Takes a deflection off Smolin. De Gea saves and really Matic should be burying that, making it 2-0. There we go again. Chelsea, most dominant side in this game. Atsu hit that first time and De Gea with an amazing save. Fully stretched, concedes the corner. We could be looking at a second here. We've done well in our corners this game. Here we go, Oscar hit that sun. Oh, Neely. Well, Manchester United have got West Brom next. Always seem to play West Brom about Christmas time, don't they? Here is Rooney. Finds Fellaini. Gone for goal. Dear, oh dear. Yet another corner for Chelsea. Fabregas to take. That's it for Kurt Zuma and De Gea. How on earth has De Gea saved that? Up to Matic. Give that to Payet. Who's back from injury. Matic into the penalty. Surely it should be 2 0, man. Surely. Another corner. We've had six corners in this game. I'm going to feed this one out wide again, see if we can get some luck here. It's Payet on the ball. Let's go for goal. It's on the volley. <gasps> oh, it's hit the crossbar. What an amazing goal that would have been. What an incredible goal this would have been from Dimitri Payet on the volley. Look at the swerve. It was going in as well. This has to be our 100th corner in this game. 85 minutes gone. That's out wide. Hit that sun. Matic, finish it. He does. It's 2-0. But it's offside. Manchester United very lucky. They've still got five minutes to get a point from this game. And that's all she wrote here at Old Trafford. It's ended Manchester United nil. Chelsea won. Very tough game. Manchester United just seemed to lack the quality in attack. And it certainly cost them here. I mean, Fellaini playing up front alongside Wayne Rooney it just didn't work out for them. As it will be Chelsea that walks away with all three points. So up next we've got West Ham coming to Stamford Bridge. Here is the league table as it stands. We are exactly halfway through the season now. 18 games gone. That win over Manchester United will keep us in top spot. But we've still got Arsenal hot on our tails as they're just three points behind us. Whereas Manchester United, because they lost, they are now six points behind us. This next game against West Ham. West Ham, you can see, are all the way down in 19th. So they're battling to stay alive in the league. Here is Chelsea's lineup then. Couture in gold, Stone, Zuma, Tremolinas back in the side to replace Nathan Ake, who was really impressive against Manchester United. Might have to bring him into the first team altogether. Bat Shuai starts at front. Christian Atsu, who's really broke out into this uh, Chelsea side this season. For West Ham, they've got Adrian in goal, Reece Oxford, Agbonna, Koyate, Obiang, Lanzini and Andy Carroll. Oh, Lanzini won the ball well there off Christian Atsu. 
battling him off as well, using his strength. It's a poor cross in the end, could have done so much better. Having a bit of luck at the moment, West Ham down this left side, Lanzina using that pace, but he's not going to get past Atsu this time, and then I go and give the ball away too cheaply. It's Lanzini, he's going to keep the ball alive, he does, but it's straight at Courtois this time. Matic, oh dear, that's a horrible pass to Kevin Noble, and that is going to be a free kick. And it is Dimitri Payet, former West Ham player, to concede the free kick. He would usually be taking these as well for West Ham. It's gone in. Can we clear this, please? You've got to be kidding me. It's Albonner that gets the opening goal in this game at Stamford Bridge. And that was nicely taken. Well executed set piece from the Hammers. And it was a nice, clean, simple finish to be fair from Agbonna. Couture just didn't do enough to prevent it from going in. And I did kind of expect a, a bit of a tough game here as West Ham are obviously in the relegation zone. They don't want to be there. Time's running out. Not liking this, getting a bit tense. I don't want to lose at home. Batshuayi now through the middle. Here we go for Aspilicueta and Adrian saves. And Pedro on the rebound gets that equaliser. There's still time as well to go on and get a winner here. It's just the little boost that we needed time and time again this season. We've either come from behind to get a winner. That's what champions do. And it's ended a 1-1 here at Stamford Bridge. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull anything together to try and get maximum points against the Hammers. But a point is better than none. Although, you, I suppose you could argue, seeing that West Ham are in poor form this season, are in the relegation zone, that we really should have been winning this game, seeing that we are top of the league. So what I'm going to do is take Atsu out for our next game, which is away to Sheffield Wednesday, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna go ahead and sim it, but I've got to try and pick a strong team. So I'll put Payet on the bench, who's recently returned from injury. We'll start Cesc Fabregas for this game. Matic is on four yellow cards. If he gets one more in this game against Sheffield Wednesday, which I'm sure he will, seeing that I'm simming it, he'll be banned for a game. Right here we go. So as you can see. Arsenal, they're closing that gap. They're only a couple of points behind us now, seeing that we just drew against West Ham. Manchester United also closed the gap to just three points on us, so we need a win here away to Sheffield Wednesday on December the 29th. It's almost the new year, and I'm just going to skip ahead. There we go. 1-0 to Chelsea. I'll take it. It means three points. Hazard with the only goal. Let the games begin. The FA Cup is up Don't and really running for Chelsea. No, it's the third round and we're away to South End United. It's O'Neill. Deegan. Oh my God. They're just controlling possession at the moment. They're making me look bad. We're the Premier League leaders. And South End United showing us up. I can't get hold of the ball at the moment. That's going to be a corner to South End United. Zuma getting a deflection on it. You can see their passing has been so much superior than ours. 92%, whereas ours has been 85, and it's 1 0 to South End United. What the hell? What the hell, man? Absolute shocker for Chelsea. Poor defending at that near post. Certainly don't want to be embarrassed here today by South End United. It's on for Payet. Gets round his man. Done really well there. On for. Christian Atsu hit that first time. Keeper saves. It's going to be a corner. We were really good with corners against Manchester United. Hopefully we can pick up where we left off. And yes, we can. Get in. It's one all. 28 minutes gone. And it's Ruben Loftus-Cheek, the youngster that started in central midfield for today. With that dominant header. What a goal. Can we just clear? That's a poor clearance. Payne picking up the loose ball. I wouldn't be surprised if they go and get second here. Look how they're passing the ball around. Payne's gone for goal and Begovic. What a save. What a save. But the ball's still there. Oh, Begovic. This game is going into a replay, isn't it? The way South End United... I, I know they say league form goes out the window. Unless we can do something here with Diego Costa. Give that back to Fabregas. Let's go for goal. And it's gone in. Yes. Fabregas coming off the bench and securing what could possibly be the winner for Chelsea which will see us advance through to the next round of this season's FA Cup Diego Costa back to Fabregas and the ball does swerve into the top right hand corner there that is a beautiful finish 
past Bentley. Scythe-end United can hold their heads high with that performance. They really did take the game to us. Really got me worrying as well on a few occasions, especially when they scored that first goal, that quick header into the back of the net. It was a bit of a shocker, but we did well to recover, to regroup, and bringing that man on as a sub in the second half. Cesc Fabregas worked wonders as he got the second and winning goal for Chelsea, which will see us go through to the next round of the FA Cup. Right then, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all soon for the next one.